And now for our feature presentation. Universal made this? Um, okay, this will be the perfect time to just let me, uh... <sighs> oh, that's the stuff. Okay, Cocaine Bear is insane. It's a movie about a bear it, who does cocaine and is on a killing spree. It's loosely based off real-life events, and I mean really loose, where a 175-pound American black bear that overdosed on cocaine in 1985 just kinda didn't kill anybody, just died. This bear rips people to shreds, falls on people and takes a nap to be awakened by more cocaine, he sifts lines of coke off dismembered body parts, he looks to packing other coke, the bear is insane, that's when the movie really shines. When the bear is killing or just looking at some butterfly, the movie gains the thrills the film's premise promise. Even the CGI is good on the crazy animal, but that premise of a coked up bear only goes so far. To be fair, the movie is a lot of fun, Elizabeth Banks has directed a solid film, and I was even more hyped knowing that Phil Lord and Chris Miller who brought a Spider-Verse and the Lego movie produced the movie. They tend to make the most outlandish ideas extremely fun. Wacky and clever. Um, I'm I'm running out. Hold up. Oh God, that's actually really good. Okay. Give me cocaine! The movie isn't anything deep. The many characters have their goals, but I'm not looking for a film called Cocaine Bear where characters have breakthroughs. The problem is we have so many characters in this one simple film. We got a drug boss played by the late Ray Liotta. May he rest in peace. We get to see him take a role in his second most crazy film yet, right behind the B-movie. Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Ah! Why doesn't someone just step on this little creep and we can all go home? We get two park rangers, a detective who has a conflict with the dog, the detective psychic who watches the dog for him, O'Shea Jackson and Alden, um, uh... Han Solo, who are tasked to get the drugs, and the mom and kid who have to find her daughter. All this causes the movie to feel extremely cluttered. In fact, there's a plot twist with one of the many characters I mentioned that feels so unnecessary that you would think they added it in the day before the movie premiered. Coke Bear interactions with everyone is almost enough to make up for the many characters making the story feel overstuffed and slow in some places, especially the beginning. The comedy does work well, and there were moments where I laughed out loud. It's a fun time and every single bear scene is golden. It's just the overall story kind of flow better in places However, it's only 90 minutes, so the short runtime helps the joke of the premise not overstay its welcome. You're an irredeemable monster! Oh, oh, what took you so long, idiot? Ah! <laughs>